YouTube, what's up? It's uh, Nexon back again with another video. Uh, today, I'm going to be interrupting the mini horror story marathon that I've had going on on the channel last week. Uh, and it's for a good reason. Um, I don't know if I've ever made this clear. I probably have, and I just don't remember. But I am a massive uh, League of Legends esports fan. And specifically, um, I follow the LCS. I am a TSM diehard fan. And uh, this past week, um, Bjergsen, the longtime mid laner of TSM, retired. And as a person that has followed TSM for almost his entire tenure, uh, he came over from Europe, I believe, in late 2013. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and played his first split, I think, in spring 2014. Um, yeah, so he's been here, you know, for the better part of seven years. Uh, he came over as a 17-year-old. I believe he's now 24. Um, he's He grew into a man here, um, you know, literally. And... Um, this this past week, uh, we learned that he is he is hanging it up, uh, and he's going to be TSM's new head coach. Uh, and this is um, I know this is good news um, because he gets to do something that he obviously has a passion for, that he will likely enjoy. Um, but it is also very sad for those of us that have followed uh, his his plight uh, on TSM for the last um, you know six plus uh, years. Um, I started playing League of Legends I think in late 2013, um, but I was not instantly a fan of uh, League of Legends esports. I didn't actually even know about League of Legends esports um, probably until. Uh, mid 2014 so probably right into his second split on tsm i instantly fell in love with tsm uh, mostly due to their color scheme um, i'm actually a pretty big fan of the black and white color scheme i thought they had the coolest logo um, the coolest uh, jerseys at the time were were black jackets um, uh, and black t-shirts uh, so um, it was a really uh like a cool factor that drew me to to TSM um and what kept me there was well um uh, almost entirely Bjergsen um I actually started off as a top laner uh, mostly because that was the role that my friends uh would allow me to play um but eventually I moved over to mid lane because of Bjergsen and I kind of wanted to touch on how he how he inspired i'm assuming millions um around the world to to not only play um you know league of legends and and mid lane but to to um you know to want to be the best that we can be at the video game um he's someone that's so exemplary in in everything he did uh, he was always a standout performer. Um, he had an incredible work ethic that you just hear people harp on and on about. Um, and he had this this passion that was very obvious um, and, and, a, and a drive for winning. Um, and it's, it's a little bit sad um, that he had to retire. I shouldn't say he had to. It's on his own terms, which is always good. You don't want to re uh, a player, an athlete, to retire due to injury or some other unforeseen circumstance. You want it to be on their own terms uh, when they feel the time is right. And obviously, Bjergsen felt the time was right. But it is a little sad that he retired after an 0-6 uh, performance at Worlds. It's, um, you know, it's, it's something that you wish you could take back obviously for him um and almost feel like it feels very uh selfish of me to say but i really wish he didn't retire on that kind of a performance um 
it just feels like it doesn't it's not a satisfying uh you know end to such a brilliant career uh for for such an incredible person to that's the last thing that you will remember um it just kind of sucks um but it, you know the fact that it is on his own terms that he felt it was it was you know it's the right time it it sort of makes up for it and and you know you obviously respect his wishes um you never want to uh, go against the player's uh you know personal desire and um he's obviously you know passionate about coaching otherwise he wouldn't he wouldn't stop playing to do it uh to do uh you know what he's going to do um and i just wanted to to say that um he meant a lot uh for those of us um that followed the north american scene uh he was kind of our beacon of hope in in international play and while he never performed up to i would say even his own expectations um he was it was the hope was always there um you know because he performed so incredibly in north america you could just say bjergsen is a world-class player he is head and shoulders above his peers in the league and we have no reason to believe that he's not going to be uh you know a, a standout performer on the world stage and other than IEM uh, Worlds in 2015, which TSM ended up winning, uh, he never really had uh, that kind of performance on the team. Um, there were many, many times where, um, you know, they just weren't able to do uh, as well as they did in North America. Um, and that is, that is the sad part. But the hope that he gave us was always there. Um, and it sort of feels like the old guard has died out now. I know double lift is, is still going to play. He's confirmed it. Uh, he's, uh, you know, I think, I think he confirmed he's staying on TSM. So there's the small part that remains, but Bjergsen, um, for, for longtime TSM fans was TSM. Um, our identity is just, it's missing now. It feels like. Um, hopefully we can recover that with, uh, you know, the addition of, of a player that becomes our new Bjergsen, uh, our new, uh, shining beacon. Um, but for now it just kind of feels like, uh, you know, there's, there's a, a hole that's been left, uh, and, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to, uh, you know, fill that hole with, uh, with, um, another Bjergsen. Um, so that's, uh, that's the end of the video. I just wanted to stress how, how much it meant, uh, for Bjergsen to, to play on TSM for me personally, to stick with, uh, the team through the thick and thin and, um, uh, to inspire me personally to play the game, uh, for so many years. But anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed this, um, non-scripted uh heart to heart sort of video because it, it it really did um you know hit me emotionally i think and uh everybody else as well uh so i hope that you uh enjoyed if you did um go ahead and leave a like if you didn't um dislike the video i guess um and also uh, leave a comment uh either way thank you for watching i appreciate it uh i hope uh, uh to see you next time peace out